Cheers! Welcome to another Layaki Coffee Chats, and we're out here in nature, which is like really nice. So yes. this is all her idea. And who is she? Who, who are you? Hi, uh, my name is Rosa, and I'm the owner and founder of Educated Chola. <gasps> Educated Chola, what's that about? Um, so we are outside because it is for mental health awareness. I'm a mental health awareness brand, particularly focused on the Latino community or inspired by the Latino community uh, because we don't really talk about mental health in our homes or even address it or think about it. And we're here to try to destigmatize going to therapy, taking medication, and just overall being okay with talking about it. Love it. So you can see it's a natural fit for this coffee chat. Yes. It's like amazing. I met Rosa at a like a Hope Latina conference mm -hmm. and I got this shirt yes. it, what does it say? Tengo muchos feelings <laughs> I was like I saw this shirt and I was like oh my god I feel so seen right now you know because I think being in a home that you know when you have a lot of feelings and you have parents who don't really know how to meet your needs as far as like mm -hmm. like navigating your emotions and everything I was just like this is like amazing and then she was so sweet and she got me this mug that little twin right here it's the newest mug so it's the newest mug and it. i love it it is so cute and i i really think that like through art you can really like move conversations forward and that's what you're doing with your art yeah and making it funny and making it funny <laughs> so let's dive into it i already told rosa we usually start with a pretty pretty broad topic question and then we go wherever you want to go with it you know so I think one thing that we haven't really talked about in La Yaki, La Yaki Coffee Chats is, and when it comes to mental health, is is medication and what that means for being in a Latinx household. You know, I think they're afraid of a lot of things. I think Latinos <laughs> when they think about mental health, but then oh, if you say something about like taking some sort of medication, oh, se ponen. Yeah. So let's talk about that because you have a lot of experience in this territory. So yeah. In terms of medication, um, I didn't take medication or start thinking about it until I was literally maybe 29 so it hasn't been that long that mm -hmm. I've taken it mm -hmm. um, but I definitely was like embarrassed to have to like accept that oh I might actually need it um, I had a therapist tell me because we, we were going back and forth and then every time I would go she'd be like you just seem so like agitated all the time like you're so emotional and like there comes with that <laughs> Um, and I was like, yes, I'm yes. emotional, very sensitive. And like growing up, like my mom was always like, yeah, like she's like the sensitive one or something. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> and like I was always crying or <laughs> sad or something. Oh my and we're God. like, what? Like, what's wrong with her? Like, you're just extra. Or even being told, like, oh, you're not supposed to cry at work, which a lot of people cry at work. Mm -hmm. um, and that's fine, but. Um, it was something that I always would like kind of keep in the back of my mind when I was at a new job. It's like, all right, I can't cry. Like I can't show my emotions um, to keep it together and not, I don't even want to say like, oh, it would like embarrass your family. But I think it was more of a the idea that it would hinder your career if you showed your emotions and cried at work. Like, God forbid you're human, Rosa. Yeah, I know. But, you know, we don't work at all. <laughs> Latino um, uh. organizations where they're like, oh, that might be okay. Yeah. Um, which even then it probably wasn't okay, yeah. or according to them. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. But, you know, being in organizations where the majority of them are, you know, non people of color, mm -hmm. um, it was still difficult to navigate that and try to climb like the corporate ladder and whatnot. Um, so now we don't do that, we work elsewhere probably still run the non-people of color but that's okay um we like it now um <laughs> but back to medication um yeah I was pretty pissed off at the therapist like I don't think I went back yeah I was gonna can I can I ask so yeah. well as you were telling that right now I was like wait you you're not saying this as a good thing right like your therapist like basically like I mean I, I don't even know if it's validating your feelings but it's almost like you're getting the sort of the same sort of feedback that your parents were giving you in a way right like yeah. like labeling you and not really understand understanding like why you were you know reacting to things in that mm -hmm. way right yeah yeah and like, I was like and where I was thinking like <laughs> oh I'm doing great like uh -huh. I kept it together this week <laughs> and 
and we're fine. And I'm like, I just did go to therapy to like to talk about it. And right. Like, you know, that's where I was going. Like I've never gone to therapy to particularly go and solve my anxiety. Like that's just there. Like it's mm-hmm. not going away. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, these are just things that I'm dealing with all the time Mm -hmm. and also to not like bombard my friends with and Mm -hmm. like not to say you shouldn't share things with your friends but also there's also the boundary of for myself and then for them that I don't want them to be like oh she just comes to me when she's upset or needs to like you know she's mad which isn't bad either but when did like, you realize that that was something you wanted to do that you were like oh, I'm not gonna go to my friends all the time like it sounds like I need some like a, like a professional um, well I got the first time I went to therapy was when I came back from my undergrad experience so I got first I got into UC Santa Cruz um, right out of high school and I was like cool I'm gonna go everything will be fine <laughs> No, I got depressed and left after my first semester, but I left with the 3.5, so I didn't feel too bad. Mm. So I was like, all right, cool. So it wasn't that. So like, and I think that's where my high functioning anxiety kicks in of like, Ooh. I'm not allowing myself to fail. I'm going to cry about it, but I'm not going to fail regardless. Oh, dude. So I like left in good standing. So I was like, cool. Um, and then I went to ELAC, so a community college, and they had therapy, so they offered it. So it was oh. free. Um, I don't know what their thing was, but it wasn't like <laughs> Medi-Cal. It was just through the like uh, through the college. School, yeah. yeah. Um, and even that doctor was like, oh, well, and that's when they first actually told me, now that I'm remembering. Um, she's like, oh, what about like, you know, if you keep coming to this, then like we might have to put you on medication. And then I was like, oh. No. <laughs> You're like, whoa. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> okay, that is okay, that is a very important moment in your story mm-hmm. because I think a lot of us can relate to that. I told you that I had a moment a few years back when same thing happened to me where you go, Wait, no, I'm cool, I'm good. This yeah. is like I don't need a yeah. So what 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 do you think um like let's be honest, like what do you think like informed that response? Like was it the way you grew up? Is it like Nobody told you about it, so you're just like, oh, I'm not, not going there. Like, um, The way I grew up, I think, mostly being told, like, even, like, weed. Like, oh, that's bad. Like, the muddy one almost. You yeah, know? yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, oh, I'm not doing that. Or just being told <laughs> and me being hyper aware of, like, oh, my God, all of these medications are highly addictive. I'm not sure if I knew specifically that about, like, yeah. those at that time. Um, but that was probably a big part of it and just being scared I was like oh my god I'm gonna get addicted right yeah yeah. um which like later on when I was in my other undergrad uh, when I transferred over to UC San Diego um a doctor there was like well what if I give you medication and I was like okay (laughs) and what changed uh, like, oh, I was just like crying. I was like, there's no way <laughs> I like, can. I was like, there's no way I'm gonna get through this and like be okay. Like I need to calm down. Um, and he gave me Xanax and he's okay. like, he first offered it to me and I was like, oh, okay. I was like, uh, I don't know about that. And he's like, okay, well the offer is there. Okay. Just come back if you want to. And then like, I called him back maybe like the following week or something like that. I was like, yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> Um, like, yeah, I made, my, I made my mind up. Yeah, because I know it was definitely, like, around finals time. Um, so I was like, well, I need to get through this. So I'm like, what the heck? And, like, the moment, I think I maybe took it, like, on a Thursday or something. Okay. And I had some final later on. And I remember laying on my couch. And I was just like, I'm totally high. No way. <laughs> yeah. That's what it felt like? That's what it felt like. I was like, what? oh, this is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and I immediately stopped, like crying no way yeah and i was like, i don't know what i was watching on tv i was just watching something it's like there lane um and that's kind of the experience with at least when i first start, started taking something daily like sanix is not recommended daily okay. um also they're not prescribing it as much anymore a lot of psychiatrists and even just general doctors if they're good they're not gonna just give it to you um basically I have to end up in the hospital to get it uh, oh, okay. Now they'll give you like hydroxyzine, um, which is technically a allergy medication. Okay. So um, they'll give you that as the like calmante, like in oh, the novelas okay. and stuff. Um, <laughs> so and it does work. Like one doesn't work for me, but if I take two, like I'm so sleepy afterwards. <laughs> so I'm like, cool. This is what I need it, and I forget I have it. So, um, but yeah, the doctor was like, oh, you can 
like I'm gonna give you the Xanax because I trust you and based on everything you're telling me you're working out you're eating well going outside like I don't see like why not so I was like all right cool and for the longest like I feel like I managed to stay on like the lowest dose of it Mm -hmm. enough to where like I really try not to use it he basically gave it to me because I was doing everything right like you know not supposed to um take it daily all the time like yes obviously through some periods and again ask your doctors um Mm -hmm. when you are going through something like okay don't be afraid to take it that's what another one told me when um I finally decided to take it consistently they told me like don't be afraid to take it daily right now as you like transition um while you wait for your medication I was like okay cool um but yeah it was enough so that I could pretty much let the medication expire which sucks because I was like oh man when I need it then it's gone or it's not expected um but most of the time my medication expires if it's like Xanax uh because I don't use it often. I really try to hold off until like oh, okay. I really need it. So okay, I must be having some breakdown. Wait, um, so <laughs> what does so you mentioned like the like you know exercising and mm-hmm. eating right and all these other things. Like how do they fit into your life when you're taking the medication? Is it something that is it kind of like a holistic approach where you're like it all works together for you or like mm-hmm. how do, how does it work? Yeah, uh, definitely holistic. Uh, daily, I take all my vitamins. I take omega, which is supposed to be helpful for depression and preventing, not preventing, but, you know, helping. And then also my vitamin D, that also helps because then that helps absorb the vitamin C and the omega, mm-hmm. I believe. Okay. Um, and B12, because I have no energy. I still have no energy. Um, and, yeah, I do those daily. Um, I try to eat breakfast. I try to work out either at least three to four times a week. That's not great. Always. Um, and then I try to be outside, but I really try to do everything um, consistently, like at least for my nighttime routine. I'll do my skincare routine, um, even though that's probably not as like, oh, you're like solving the problem with self care. But like it helps me because it's a routine that I'm used to, and I'm like, all right, I have to do this before I go to bedtime. Um, and it's time for you too, right? I yeah, mean, it's like yeah. Um, a big part of like self care for me is skincare. Like, mm-hmm. I'm like ooh, I like mm-hmm. I love SPF. Um, and then <laughs> if I'm gonna be outside because I need the sun, um, even though we live in California. <laughs> Uh, I wear all my SPF. Oh, yeah. Because then I get, like, mancha, so. <laughs> Trying to prevent all that. It's hard. It's holistic, but it's hard. Um, and then doing events also, like, I have to add those in there. So those weeks when I have to prep, like, it kind of throws me off. Yeah, so yeah, 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 um, yeah. if I didn't respond to you an email or something, it's probably that. Yeah. So I'm doing taking, something. It's not because. Taking care of yourself. It's not because I don't want to. I just, I'm too tired. <laughs> and it's exhausting. <laughs> Like mentally exhausting. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. And these medications, like, is it something that you're? Because I, I, so from my perspective, is like I, I was that person. I was scared. Mm-hmm. I'm still like um, very curious. That's why I was like, oh, I want to ask you and learn from your mm-hmm. experience. It's like, is it one of those things where? It, do you see yourself ever? not having the medication or just something that you sort of bring in just kind of like vitamins or just kind of like when you're trying to to help you through your journey like mm-hmm. how does that look like for you what do you think um I mean ideally I like to not take medication just because it's just adding something to your body that's technically not supposed to be there um but I don't really see unless there's like some sort of like treatment right so there's this one treatment called TMS and okay. I believe it's like it's kind of like shock therapy okay uh, but like super minor and then I did try to get that approved because I know of a colleague of mine who was like yeah I was you know depressed or like you know, still is depressed but uh, he basically told me, like, it helped me get off of, like, I don't know how many medications after this. Oh. Yeah, which I'm like, oh, that's awesome. Yeah. But, you know, insurance isn't up to date with that. <laughs> so it's only so. right now, like, approved for, like, depression. Anxiety, I think, just got approved. Oh, okay. So then it's that whole process. And I tried it. And they were basically like, oh, yeah, like, it's not going to be approved because you haven't taken way too many medications. So, like, really? I don't qualify. Which I'm like, 
why is that your choice? Like, <laughs> yeah, like, you didn't have that. And like, I'm just like, all right, know. this is the whole like big pharma stuff where like, yeah, you want to keep <laughs> making money, whatever. I'm like, sure. So, I mean, unless they approve me for that or whatever else comes up, mm-hmm. then I probably will keep taking medication. Um, I don't like ever regret taking it. Like I remember the first mm-hmm. time I took it and now that one didn't work anymore. So I'm a different one. But the first time I took it, again, I was high that first day. First or second week. Like the first week, I was for sure on high. Like my friend was telling me something. I was like, you can tell me whatever you want right now. And I'm like, okay. Um, Did you ask him to ask you anything? You're like, I'll tell you whatever you want. No, no. I just told her like, hey, uh, I'm like, I just got medication. And I'm like, so great. (laughs) And she was just like telling me stuff. I'm like, all right, cool. I'm like, I'm just going to go home. I'm fine. So like, it kind of like killed my emotions. And I think that's one of the things that, I, people are afraid of with medication of like it altering their like moods and whatnot um there's like this funny meme or i don't know tiktok it's okay. like that where they're like oh i'm afraid to take medication i feel like it's gonna kill my um like my sparkle and then they show like the sparkle and it's like them crying <laughs> i'm like yeah so that's how it pretty much felt for me of like no like the sparkle's not there like it's dead um so <laughs> Like the moment I started taking it, like I don't think I want to go back to that because it immediately shut off like all the extra thoughts that I have all the time. Like I will wake up and I'm instantly thinking about something. Mm-hmm. If not necessarily like an anxious thing. Right. Um, or something that's making me anxious, but like I immediately have thoughts um, the moment I like open my eyes um, versus apparently normal people don't. <laughs> They yeah, what do normal up. people think? I don't know. Because I wake up and I'm like, uh, immediate. this, this, this. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which apparently I guess it's not normal. It's not normal. Okay. No. So <laughs> that's, so like now it's kind of more of a controlled normal. <laughs> so what do you wake up? You think about what? Like what? What do you think about this morning when you woke up? This morning? You're like, I'm see Jackie. Like, I'm see Jackie. <laughs> and then also I was like, let me, I don't know. I picked up my phone because my cat wakes me up like sometimes okay. before I wake up. And... I was like on TikTok and I was just cracking up at all this stuff on TikTok. Like they weren't even like extra funny, but you know when you just crack up yeah, and yeah, like yeah, everything's yeah, just yeah. making you laugh. I was, oh, like, yeah, yeah. I was like, okay, that must oh, be yeah. a good morning. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. So I'm not anti social media. Like people are like, oh, it's bad for you, whatever. I'm like, it cracks me up most it's, of the time, at least TikTok. Instagram could be bad because you know you're comparing more directly, yeah. but. Um, TikTok, TikTok I, is pretty funny actually. It's funny. I'm and like that. That is helping my mental health because I'm laughing and I'm not thinking about yeah. other things. It's blocking those other yeah. thoughts. Um, but I think I was thinking of that, and I was like, okay, well now I have to do the laundry. But then I reorganized it or reorganized right. the order of which I was going to do things. So I'm going to do laundry after this. Okay, um, exciting. Yes, exciting. and then I cleaned my cat's litter box, which apparently I wasn't using correctly. What? <laughs> How do you not use it correctly, girl? Well, it just came and like, <laughs> I just like put it down and like, I had it for like at least more than a year. Okay. Yeah, definitely way more. Okay. And I didn't realize that it had like a sifter in it. What's that? I don't know what like, sifter is. So like, you can like, like oh, sand, like it? when you're like, you know, like pretend we're digging for gold. Like, oh, you know, see, 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. So I had one of those. So I'm just like, okay. Well, I just found that out because I was cleaning it. Cause I was like, oh, I'll put I put some like Mr. Clean or something on there, uh-huh. so I can soak. And then I like lift it. I'm like, there was this other thing in the bottom. So oh who knows? But that's okay. We replaced <laughs> it with one of those. Um, it's really cool. It's like it looks like a planter. Okay. But it's a litter box, so it hides oh, it, cute. and like it doesn't go everywhere, which is the big oh. problem with that studio. So and now it has a plant on I top like of it. I like it. It's fake. He keeps chewing it. It's annoying. Oh, he does. Yeah. Oh. So I'm like, okay. But at least he's using it, so Aww. my apartment won't be stinky, and now we'll just have a backup litter box for the future. <laughs> I'll use it properly. Um, so, yeah, anything or everything I think about all the time. Oh, my god! It's gosh. just, like, I feel like with the medication, it helps me not um, go into spirals of yeah, let's talk about overthinking spirals. it. Let's yeah. talk about these spirals. Yeah, yeah, they're not fun. Um <laughs> Like, no, they're not fun. They're, yeah. they're they're sneaky. But like one that's like pretty common, or like not as common, because honestly, it takes practice. Like 
yes, taking medication is going to help you, but it's not going to cure you. Um, there is no cure for either one of these things or all of these mental health issues. Yeah. If there was, a high-functioning anxiety person would figure it out. Um, I would have let everyone know. Yeah. Yes. Um, and then, so, like, I usually, usually I'm fine. Like, I assume everyone gets, like, home safely. If I'm like, oh, hey, like, text me when you get home or whatnot. Or, like, my boyfriend, I'm like, it's, like, the weekend or something. Like, yeah. I know he's doing stuff. So, I always try to go through those scenarios. So, I'm like, all right, they're probably just busy and whatnot and not replying. So, I'm like, okay. But um, recently, a friend of mine who is the owner of Four Keeps Permanent Jewelry, um, she wasn't replying to some other colleagues' emails or texts because they were going to meet up. And then this other friend texts me and she's like, hey, um, she okay? I was like, yeah, she's probably just sleeping. Like, she sleeps till this time or something else. I'm like, all right, cool. So I like leave it alone. Okay. And then she texts me again. She's like, oh, I'm really starting to worry. And I'm just like, okay. <laughs> Are you so starting then, to worry? I start to oh, worry. Well, oh, which is no. like, I know that she's sleeping or doing something else that like, I know she normally does or is going through, but I was like, okay. So then I message her on Instagram, like, hey, just checking. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you're fine, <laughs> but so and so's worried. And now I'm worried. So just let us know. <sighs> and then she texts us later, maybe like an hour later. Oh, I'm just like, yeah. I told her it was fine, but yeah. yo, she pushed. She, she pushed, pushed, pushed me. Yeah. So, and normally, again, I can be like, cool, just text me when you get home. Even if someone doesn't text me, I'm like, Oh, they probably forgot because sometimes I forget. But so I was like, you planted this thing in my head. And like <laughs> I fight with this all the time. So yeah. basically everyone in my life has died in my head at least once. Because <laughs> um, <laughs> I'll just go there. I'm like, they had not respond for an hour. They got in a like, car crash. Right. <laughs> Something happened. They're okay. dead. Okay. Now, do you think uh, like younger Rosa was like this? Because I, yes. I, yes, always? <laughs> yes. yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah, it's not near. Like I had to fight with that before the medication, so it was like I was, I'm gonna say pre med. We're not going to pre med. I did want to be a doctor at one point, but not because um, I was like that's too long of a time to have no life. <laughs> it's it's a long great. Time. Yes, thank you, doctors. Thank yeah, you for sure. Um, but we're not doing that. <laughs> we're not doing um, that. <laughs> many other careers I wanted to have. Uh, what else? Um, um, You're like, well, I could still be a farm tech, I guess. Oh, yeah. I like medications. Oh. And, like, I'm pretty good. I'm, like, my family's fake doctor. Like, oh, yeah? Ask me, like, what do I take? I was like, this? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not a doctor, but sure. You're like, I'm not a doctor, but. Like, okay. Usually it works out. Not the Sudafed, though. That was, like, that's very specific to people, so just oh, okay, saying. Okay, okay, Um, It doesn't raise my heart, but it can raise people's hearts, so just be careful. Oh. Um. I did want to, I wanted a flower shop. <laughs> yeah, um, that could still happen. That could still happen. That could definitely still happen. I do want a coffee shop. I want like that a coffee definitely shop, tea happen. shop thing. <gasps> Ooh, um, manifest, girl. Yeah, so like it's one of my like yes. couple of things that I want to do. I love that. Um, so one of the other I businesses your that shop. we'll own. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, hell yeah. Um, and we'll have decaf too because it's yeah, hard yeah, to find yeah, decaf. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't drink coffee all the time. Right now we are, which is fine. Yeah, for um, coffee But chops. we're not stressed, so we're okay. <laughs> yes. Um, yes. On the daily, we're <laughs> avoiding it if we can. Um, yeah, coffee def definitely like yeah you. no it like though it's funny because people with depression they'll drink coffee and like it helps them actually really yeah because they're like oh no it keeps me like alive i was like oh okay i'm like it gives me anxiety so i don't <laughs> i guess i mean that goes back to like i think everybody's different every yeah. everybody but everybody's body is different mm -hmm. and like reacts different to things you yeah know? so, so I'll that still makes drink, sense like, matcha and stuff but um yeah we'll manifest that yeah and then i like it um, artist basically um, I originally paint oh. so I got a minor in studio art in undergrad and then and I did that because they told me what the heck are you gonna do with art so oh is that how that happened that's oh, how that happened okay, yeah okay. so then I did international studies which like I didn't know what it was I was just like sure I'll study everything but I love your art um, but it's cool I love your art thank you thank you I'm trying to draw more um, so I got an iPad now like again, your... so we can do that again. Um, nice. And then what else? Where are we going? 
I know, right? Where were we going Spiraling, with that? Spiraling, Spiraling, yes. Yeah. How, were you always like this? There yes. we go. And you said, yes, you always were. Yes. And when you were, so I really want to talk about like when we were kids mm -hmm. and you said that you were spiraling. Like what, looking, obviously it's all hindsight, like mm -hmm. looking back when you were younger, what would have been helpful to you, you think? Um. And what do you do now with your spirals? You know what I mean? Like. Yeah. Yeah. Um. I think what would have been helpful would have just to have known like that that wasn't normal. <laughs> I was like, why are you a third grader worried about getting into college? <laughs> no. Worried like, that no, like no. if I don't get into the gifted program in uh, middle school, then I won't get into college because then I won't get into honors classes and AP in high school. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't know that apparently it didn't matter. Um, doesn't matter. Don't doesn't worry. Matter. Don't, don't try to freak out. You don't need a degree anymore. There's Google, YouTube. I learned a lot of things from those too. Also, it's just knowing how to use them well. Yes. Which I think we're yes. pretty good at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. and also the debt. Uh, I only got my master's degree because Barack Obama said he was going to forgive him. And then now we're here. Here we are. Well, they're, we're yeah. close, very, very close. But, yeah, mm -hmm. so we'll see. We'll they're see. not making this pay right now, so we're good. Yeah, I know, I'm like... Um, and then now, if I go into a spiral yeah. before I catch it, like, I talk to myself a lot, and I'm just like, it's fine. I try to write things down. I don't all the time. I should get better of it. It does work, though, when you do write things down. It like, it helps to get rid of some of it doesn't fully completely all the time um but if i'm getting into a spiral we just go into it <laughs> yeah we go into it okay 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 i'm just like you know what all maybe right, it's going time down. to we're do going it down. <laughs> like i can't control it like um, and you recognize that it is a spiral because there is yeah. right because I, I i know for me there were moments where i was like i there was a time in my life where it was like oh i didn't even like now because i've I've done the work for me. Mm -hmm. Therapy has been helpful. Mm -hmm. It's like, now I recognize, I'm aware that it is a spiral. Versus yeah. before it was like, I was like, no via nada. I didn't see anything but but my mm -hmm. spiral. I thought I was like, I was the spiral. Yeah. I don't know if that makes sense. Yeah. Like, yeah, no, I'll like see it. And then I'm just like, oh, okay, maybe it's time. Or then I'll realize, oh crap, like this time before and this other time before when this was happening and not necessarily like the spiral, but like something that was, um, triggering me or making me feel a certain way I was yes. like oh that was all leading up to this yes. um, so I'm like oh damn it I didn't catch it this time <laughs> so like for example when I changed medications mm -hmm. I had that same situation where I was like oh this the other time and this other thing was me leading up to this medication not going to work and I was like mm. damn it and I was like I knew it <laughs> So I was like, oh, I wish I would have caught it. Uh -huh. But it was like, I mean, I couldn't do anything about it. Yeah. Um, just get, get a new therapist or psychiatrist. Yeah, do you feel like in those moments when you're like, damn, like, damn, like, because then from, you know, there's a, the, the other, I don't know what you would call it, the second phase of a spiral where it's like feeling guilty. Oh, yeah. Or like feeling like, damn, and then being hard on yourself about it instead of yeah. being like, being graceful and being like, which is hard, you know, to be yeah. like, you know what, Nimolo, like, all right, that's it, mm -hmm. like, moving on, like, how does how do you how do you what helps you there because i think those are moments where like everyone has different tools that work for them like what works um, for you? i try like, to really do like self-care and that includes not answering your emails yes um not just what does that mean and what does general. that mean you're not answering your emails what is that what are you trying to say there i'm trying to say like I have a mental health awareness brand and I also have mental health issues so like chill chill chill, <laughs> chill. Boundaries. we're fine we'll get it there yeah I haven't shipped something I'm getting to it we're just tired yeah. and one person and you're um, prioritizing yourself yeah so, so yeah I try to it. practice my own like preaching too so it's just not doing the things that I feel like I have to which like a lot of the time for my business like I don't have to post daily I feel pressured to post daily but I don't have to, so I try to remind myself a lot, like, okay, it's fine, like, it's really my brand, like, no one's gonna tell me anything else. Um, so a lot of self-talk. And then just self-care in the form of either working out, not working out, also is self-care. Ooh, um, tell me about that. Let's talk about that one. Yeah, what do you well, mean your by body that? needs rest either way, and then sometimes, um, like, I'll get, like, body aches if I'm really stressed out, or headaches, and it's not necessarily that, oh, I need to work out to get those, like, endorphins, but 
it's more of like, no, you physically need rest. So like that. that's why I also don't necessarily work out all the time either, depending on how I'm feeling or try to gauge it. Um, and then I also will just like, all right, well, I just leave my phone and like try not to touch it and watch like a full thing of whatever I'm watching. I'm watching Succession right now. <gasps> I didn't watch it last yeah. night. Okay, but I'm watching Succession right now. So picking whatever I'm watching and like just paying attention and not looking at my phone or going on TikTok. No, we love TikTok, but we love, not we at that time. I'm just like decompressing, like I'll get back from work and I'll just watch something like fully pay attention um, without. Can, can we take myself. a minute there? Cause I think that's a very important one that mm -hmm. I think people don't realize the simplicity of that. Yeah. Is to like literally like whether it's like whatever, whether it's TikTok or music or reading mm -hmm. or a book or TV. Washing the dishes. Washing the, the dishes. Music. That's about like, I yeah. need to record that. Yes. But, um, this is the best part. Like some days I'm just like, oh man, I'm so into it. And like, yes. it'll help me get like my stuff done. Uh, I feel better because yes. my dishes aren't dirty. Yeah. Um, again, and being into it, like you said, like being yeah. into it, not letting it just happening to you but you're in it you're very fully present in, in yes. what you're doing and what you're paying, giving your attention to mm -hmm. I think yeah. like that's I don't know I feel like growing up like oh it's like you're not taught these like very not simple fundamental things, things no that, like, they don't teach you in school I mean now they do <laughs> yeah now they, they do kindergartners know how to do like deep breaths and stuff yeah you know back to this shirt right here mm -hmm. I think I'm feelings I think um sometimes you have to be in your feelings that's okay. Ooh, okay, tell me about this. Tell me about yeah, this. Yeah, you um, be in your feelings. That's uh, one of, like the reason why I like let myself spiral. Like, if I'm in it, I'm in it because they said, I think it was a therapist or someone told me, like, you know, maybe you just needed to do that. Like, you were at that point. <laughs> I'm like, that's true. I'm like, okay. So I'm like, all right, if I'm gonna cry, I'm just feel it all out, yeah. cry it all out. So, yeah, don't suppress it. Right? Yeah, because like... it's really by the suppressing where we just let it build up. Yeah. So. I, I I think um like escaping your feelings. Mm -hmm. You know, when you're just like I don't I don't wanna feel XYZ and sometimes for me it's even good and bad feelings. Sometimes yeah. it's not even like bad feelings. But it's like just to make sure like it's I don't know, they do the fight or flight or fight, right? Mm -hmm. You've heard of this. But have you heard of the frozen? Yes. Can we talk about the frozen? Because we don't I, I do want to talk about it. I think it's very important. Yeah, like I remember in grad school, and I'm pretty sure I did it undergrad too, but like I wouldn't call people. I wouldn't call my mom. I wouldn't call anyone. Mm. I was, why? Because I would literally tell myself, I'm like, I can have no feelings right now. I need mm. to get through this final. I need to get through this mm. semester. And we can't have these feelings because mm. it'll lose my focus. Mm. And it's probably, it's probably bad. But, um, there was like no other way that I can think of to get through it. Yeah. I was like, I'm stressed, like probably depressed at that time too, yeah. at least in grad school. Yeah. And um, I was like, well, I just need to make it through it and then we can cry after. Like I'll decompress after. <laughs> You're like, I'm um, gonna schedule. I'm gonna schedule, schedule my cry. I'm gonna schedule my cry. Which sounds like nutty, but it's also like, <laughs> I, I get you it. You have to do what you gotta do yeah, to get you through it. if you're like, okay, my support system's all the way across the country. Like, yeah. what are you going to do? Oh, um, so I think I just, like, like you said, froze the feelings mm -hmm. at that time. And then afterwards, like, obviously your body is like, well, you were in this high stress period, so now you're going to get sick or something. All the time. Totally. Happens. Yeah. And now what do you, how do you try to, I guess not, I don't know if it's avoid the frozen, but, like, learn from the frozen moments, like... Um, I mean, definitely helps not being in grad school. So, yeah. <laughs> high stress, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think having been in grad school and then getting out of the situations that I was in with prior um, positions at basically all these nonprofits. So now I'm on a, like an anti nonprofit parade because okay. they're very toxic. Um, we are pretty much stuck in behaving like a normal adult or as they think you should be versus asking questions and like I definitely do get in trouble sometimes for asking too many questions um, challenged yes <laughs> so they didn't like that um and then there's other jobs where like I literally was stressed out so much that I thought I had IBS <laughs> oh really my anxiety is in my stomach well the stomach does like right it yeah does control yeah. a lot of the um because a lot of your I believe it's 
serotonin that's uh -huh. in the stomach. We're not doctors too. here, but not doctors. It's one of them. Just what we one think. Mm -hmm. I haven't researched that one fully. Really. Yeah. Um, but I thought I had a BS, and I was like, "What the hell?" <laughs> I went to the doctor, and then they gave me medication, and they never told me to stop taking it. No. So then they're like, "Oh, you're only supposed to take that momentarily." I was like, "Oh no." So find good doctors. It's hard to find good doctors. Yeah, find good um, doctors. And then I basically left that position for another position mm -hmm. which was it was better first but then you know constantly being told like oh you're not a good enough writer or whatever I was doing at the time um you're not at this level again these are white people telling me I'm not at this level with a master's degree so oh sure. my goodness oh so my it's goodness. like constantly combating that yeah. um again imposter syndrome and um just having been able to get out of those situations so like I completely switched my career or jobs I'm just call them jobs because I hope this is my career at some point this is your career hey career. you gotta own it girl yeah, yeah this so, is your career yes and then um she don't Telemundo by the way she don't Telemundo I just wanna oh. throw that out there <laughs> go check out Telemundo go check it out LA Times that too oh yeah uh -huh. and some other stuff yes and then coming up coming up <laughs> um <laughs> So I got out of those and then I went into like customer service, which like I really never had customer service jobs. Like, like retail one. or what? Or no, you, or customer, um, customer I worked service. for a healthcare company with okay. Medi-Cal. Okay. People are mean, so y'all be nice to people. Uh, like I was trying to help you guys. I went, uh, I bend over backwards and it's uh, all remote, but people are mean over the phone. Uh, and like it was, it was good first. But, like, they literally tell you, like, basically you have to take people's crap. And it's, like, right. you can't tell them, like, stop or anything. Right. Um, and then, so I got out of that. And then now I do leasing. Like, I basically rent bougie apartments for people. Okay. Um, and it's great because my boss is great, super supportive. Like, I've never had a job where I didn't come into work already stressed. Oh, that's awesome. That's yeah. amazing. So I think not necessarily, like, if there's a way to get out of it, it's more of like what environment you're in. To I'm get sure out you've of. also done like a lot of the work yourself too. Yeah. Like, right? Like yeah. You're oh, yeah. I mean, also... I go to therapy all the time, um, follow up with the psychiatrist, I've switched mm -hmm. psychiatrists. What's so the difference between a, a therapist and a psychi psychiatrist? Psychiatrist can give you meds. Gotcha. Um, therapist, just talk therapy, CBT, whatever. Oh yeah, CBT. I yeah. love me some CBT. Yeah. What is CBT for those who do not know? Uh, cognitive behavioral therapy. Yeah. Yes. Yes. yes, it is. Yes, it is. Um, so it's just like a way of like you can reframe things. Basically, um, ask yourself a bunch of questions. I think is one of them where you're just like, okay, what if this does happen, or what's the worst thing that can happen? Um, do I practice this all the time? No, but they do help when you do this. They do help. Um, I use that. And then it, that doesn't always help people so there's other versions of different types of therapies um, that they'll like teach you teach you coping mechanisms um, breathing techniques um, how to like basically get yourself out of the moment I know one of them mm -hmm. and I can never do this one correctly so I don't do it I mostly do breathing techniques which one which one um, but like find five things that are this five things Yes! I was just telling my mom about this. I, it's a grounding technique. There you go. Um, I can never do it. Like, Let's do I'm it like, together right now. I, know, I don't know which one. Let's do it. I'm going to just order, order them in okay. whatever order I want, right. okay? So but so you you do... I'm going to ask you, then you ask me another sense. But okay. four. Go, you count down. Okay. So tell, tell me five things you see. Five things we see. Yeah. It's tree. Uh, Jackie. I was going to be like, Person. Whoa. Nothing. But... Um, <laughs> The baby carriage. Okay. Yes, the baby carriage. Sure. Um, <laughs> green soccer ball. Okay. One more. And then a baby. Yeah. Five. <laughs> okay. So then they ask me. Uh, four things. Let's see. Four things you can touch. Ooh, okay. So I'm touching this cup. This beautiful cup uh, from yes, Educate yes. Tola. I'm touching this box with with the sandwich. Yes. I'm touching the mic. Slowly. This. And then napkin. Napkins. Four. Okay. Four, okay. Okay, uh, tell me three things that you can taste. <laughs> hmm. The coffee. Okay. The coffee bread. <laughs> and the sandwich. Oh, okay. Uh, um, and then what else? So we did see, touch, taste. 
So smell. Mm -hmm. All right, um, two things we can smell. Smell the coffee. Yeah. Smells good. Um, Fresh air. Fresh air. Fresh yeah. air, right? Away, it's still pretty good. Yeah. Right there. yeah. That's two. That's and three. Is that three? Is that three? No, that's two. Oh, that's two. No. And then the one thing you can. So what? <laughs> what is it? So oh, it's here. Here. Oh. The cars. <laughs> yeah. It's still pretty quiet, but we can hear the yeah. cars. But you know what? I, I realize that, like, these things, that, like, this sort of grounding technique, the whole touching the grass, the whole. These mm -hmm. small things that I, I think a long time, for a long time, I feel like. You know, I think we've started to learn, but I think for me, I'm starting to realize like it that effort is goes a long way. Mm -hmm. And people think that like you know you do you have physical health, you have emotional health, and you do things to keep up with it. But you have to do the same with your brain, you know. Yeah. So it's like, why would yeah. you not do these things? And it doesn't have to be these crazy things. What you just did right now yeah. can really snap you like, out of. We're whatever. gonna do a stupid mental health walk because those apparently help. They do help. They do. Yeah. Every time I go outside, I feel better. Seriously. This even is they, so even nice. if it's gloomy, I feel better. Yes. But I I think um, people underestimate it. So mm -hmm. um, one thing I was gonna ask you is like, now that your family has seen your success and what you're doing, mm -hmm. like, what do they think about what you're doing? Are they are they supportive? Are they kind of like, we're supportive, but we don't really understand? Or are they like, no, we we're, we get it now? Like, what's the... I think now they get it. Maybe when I first started, they were just kind of like, okay, that's cool. You have a business. So, like, they would support <laughs> me. Like, my sister and my mom would come and help me out. Oh, yeah? Events. Yeah. Uh, my mom moved to Fresno, so now she can't. But she still visits. Uh, but she supports because she has inspired like two of the phrases so she did yeah, t tell them about another one Mira profundo um because that's what she would tell me when i was in grad school crying so this is why i wouldn't call her um <laughs> and, then, and what does that mean for those who do not speak oh, spanish means take a deep breath yes. which is really simple and also sounds very stupid but <laughs> no, it works it's it like works. the walk like breathing yes. just works um when you have i don't want to say depression it also probably is with depression but like anxiety yeah. and depression yeah. for sure um, you take more shallow breaths, so we're literally missing oxygen. Mm. Yeah. So that's why I was like, oh, okay. I'm like, this is why. Your this mom's works. like, your mom's like, I know. Yeah, she knows. <laughs> yeah. And then the other one she inspired was I'm okay, and it's spelled like O K E Y. Um, so it's kind of like Spanglish, because oh, okay. it was like when people ask her like. Oh, she's like, what do I say when people ask me that? Like in English, I was like, you'd say you're okay. She's like, can I do this? I was like, yeah. And I was like, oh, yeah, that makes sense. But I also kind of use it as like, you don't want to say too much sometimes. And like, that's all you really can muster to say. It's like, I'm okay. Um, so that's how that one came about. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, now they're, uh, I think with being in Telemundo and the LA Times, they're kind of seeing like, oh yeah, this is really <laughs> important. <laughs> um, and yeah, like do they see that how, do they understand like where, especially for your mom, does she understand how like growing up, how that was, like does she recognize the need, do you feel like, or is she just? I think so, because yeah. she's, um, we have this like family doctor, we have the Mexican family doctor, mm -hmm. um, not mine, but hers mm -hmm. mostly. And like I know one time he came over and like she was telling him like, oh yeah, she's always been sensitive and like, you know, like I always knew something was up with her. I'm all cringe sensitive. I yeah, like. I know. But I was like, but she wasn't saying it like in a bad way mm -hmm, or anything mm -hmm. like that. But like, I know she acknowledges like, oh yeah, that's how you've always been. So mm. that's why we were like, okay. okay but, okay. um. In terms of like understanding like the whole like movement and stuff like that like i think they see it now more mm -hmm. and then also having been to events like my younger sister she'll like hear people like talk to me about like Aww. their medication or about um like moms and sisters will come by like oh so and so started taking medication and, like i think they'll really like this mm -hmm. um so they're able like to see that but also i guess now read it um, that's so cool yeah. I didn't realize the family component to this oh, about, like how yes. they like you really are bringing like you're not only I feel like I mean you're I, I'm telling you like yeah. I was just gonna tell you like how this this what you're doing really makes us feel seen and make mm -hmm. us not feel ashamed of like 
how we are or how we feel mm -hmm. but I never realized like yeah you also are bringing along families to like come together on this yeah. which is huge or, like parents um, I had oh one over God, the weekend dude. tell me oh we want to get her um, saddie pero baddie <laughs> because <laughs> she like she is always sad and like um, they were telling me how she was bipolar and like oh, they're self medicating and how they're like oh well what about like the medication I was like yeah like if it's if we're taking one then you can't really take the other one like you have to check your interactions um, yeah. I know CBD interacts with some medications even though it might work for you but like taking it with the other one just defeats the purpose yeah. um but yeah i have parents coming by and Whoa. like being like oh okay like oh my god i'm gonna get her this because it's funny but also she'll feel seen and she'll like kind of connect with us so oh dude yeah, yeah. wow um, and then i'm telling you art is amazing yeah. that's so cool what you're doing thank you um oh, and then Amazing. like for example my older sister like she sees i think she sees more now of how my anxiety is like mm -hmm. i was panicking for some reason and she was like i said i posted a meme or something like that okay. online and then she saw it and she's like oh like that one time when you were in the car and like you were freaking out i was like yes exactly like that time <laughs> actually <laughs> she's, like, she's like oh okay so she understood i'm like you gotta let me panic like that's the only way um i know it's irrational but like let me do my thing yes, and then yes, we'll be fine like yes. i know there's logic but yes. like my mind's racing so it doesn't help um, yeah. yeah you're making it like super accessible you're opening conversations and helping one another understand each other. I think that's really cool. I think that's very important. So, wow. Thank you. <laughs> um, yeah, you know, I think uh, for all those sensitive girls out there, it's you okay. rock. Yes. I like to say I'm very in tune with my emotions. Yeah. That's how it is. We're that's just highly emotionally intelligent. We are. You know? There's, um, have you heard of <laughs> highly sensitive people? Ooh. Yeah, HSPs. People are like, oh, I someone know, else I told not. me. They're like, oh, you're an HSP. I was like, Ooh, cool. And then someone like told that. me, read this book. I was like, I didn't read it. What book but, is it? Um, oh, I want to read it. I don't know, but I'll put you the name. Okay, of good. It. Okay, good. Um, but basically, it's like, I mean, aside from being that, someone was trying to tell me, like, oh, maybe you're just an HSP and, like, you don't have anxiety. I'm like, I could be both. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm curious about that. Yeah. yeah. So it's just basically being highly sensitive. So basically, everything that anyone tells you, like, you'll take to heart and just feel it all yeah, yeah, um, yeah. which is the case uh, <laughs> but we're also anxious so <laughs> I'll send you that book to read yeah, yeah. So, yeah. what has been the most like um, uh, so far in this journey for you like um, have you ever had moments where you're just like I that you you don't want to move forward with the work you're doing but then something there's a sign that comes in your yeah. in your universe and you're just like nope I'm exactly where I need to be like has that happened for you yeah for you? yeah all the time um especially I think maybe after I got my trademark I'm like okay well now I'm like damn it what did I build like now I can't like stop um <laughs> <laughs> like people expect me to do this and <laughs> like I feel like I'm the like Latino Latina voice for what isn't existing right now um i know there's other brands that'll be like self-care sunday or something like that and it's like their one shirt i'm like that's cool right um, right 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 where I'm, I'm like i'm like the entire brand is that mm -hmm. um and yeah, you're committed i'm committed you're committed um in the la times so now i'm like well if i stop then i'm like what happened to her um <laughs> <laughs> but i have that all the time where i'm like I'm just tired, like these events, like yeah. I love going to events because I get to meet everyone. It's fun to talk to you all, but they're also exhausting. Again, mm -hmm. um, having anxiety, like my body is just always going and it's always like feeling it basically. So if I'm quiet, it's because I'm just trying to recharge pretty much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, all the time. Like I think I even had that moment like recently and I'm just like, oh. or there was like an event that like I wasn't too happy with just how it was like moderated or how it was set up yeah and then I was talking to someone and they're like why don't you like not do it I was like 
I can't not do it because like mm-hmm. I want people to know one my brand exists and also if they're gonna go purchase something I'd rather um, get like the benefit or like the impact mm-hmm. of what it stands for what it means um, so I'm like oh, I guess I might do it too, so. <laughs> you know what's interesting about what you just said it's like it's almost like in the moments where where the universe or people may challenge your why yeah you're just like wait like that i'm because i'm gonna take that with me because i have moments too but i'm like i like that because then it's like yeah what if you stop what if you don't do it then then it's like gonna do it yeah and you're like do you want someone else to do it you're like no you want to do it so i like that a lot of people (laughs) Uh, especially with like mental health and like talking about it and just like being careful um it's probably one of the reasons why i don't like incorporate it like incorporate other like phrases that maybe aren't in my language might be in some other culture yeah um just because i want to be mindful of um backgrounds and what it means and also like i'm latina i'm not asian or black so i can't be like throwing these things out either you're being very authentic Um, i like it yeah and then also like who else is gonna make medication earrings like i mean who else i mean someone might and they can but what they have i'd rather be the one doing it (laughs) (laughs) I'm very specific. Like, I will research everything. Um, I love that. Down to like how it looks like, mm-hmm. and then also just you know what works best in terms of like how big is it on your ear. Like, I'm not gonna oh. make something gigantic. So if there's Ooh. something that you're like, oh, why doesn't she make these into earrings? Like, there's, think very- about how giant they are <laughs> or how they will look. So that's also oh, okay. into consideration. You're super so intentional. Versions. Yeah, like everything. Oh. I'll try to be intentional about, and then. Um, mindful of how it's gonna show uh-huh. um, but even then like I like run it through some people and I'm like what do you think about this what about that um, Smart. my sisters too like I'm like hey what do you guys think about this um, and then there's also like filtering out things that I'm like mm, that's probably a no but okay thanks <laughs> thanks for the idea dude that's really good yeah, so. Oh, see, you're like, yeah. you know what you're doing. Yeah. You know what I know what I'm doing. doing. I'm just tired. <laughs> <laughs> and what does that mean? You're going to take care of yourself, right? Yeah. This is Breaks. why. Oh, yeah. What is it? Show everyone. We're always tired. <laughs> <laughs> um, I also got tested for uh, cortisol, which was. What's cortisol? Cortisol is a, a stress. Yeah. I believe it's a stress hormone or like produced by one of the stress hormones oh, okay and that's what like holds like belly fat like i don't see those like oh. diet commercials are like they're cortisol this and that and um oh, okay, okay so like people supposedly with like anxiety or some other mental health issues have high cortisol apparently i don't okay. um which is nice to find out because yeah. i'm like okay what's wrong um there's also the test to do like what medications will work best for you which i haven't done that so Ooh. i'm gonna try and figure that one out so okay. far my current one's good so we're um, but yeah apparently nothing according to blessed is wrong with me uh, <laughs> that does not mean that i don't have anxiety but i was also like oh okay but i'm gonna keep taking my vitamins and whatever supplements yeah. so it all helps well whatever you're doing it's obviously working because it's getting you growing and you're evolving and you're clearly winning or as the kids yes. say I hate to use the word winning because it's cringe and cheesy I know. But, but you are you're winning you're winning um and I'm really I'm really I it's so serendipitous that we met like yes I'm because you know you honestly you see a lot of you know amazing small businesses that are doing artwork yeah. and they're doing you know they're doing awesome apparel and stuff like that but mm-hmm. man when I saw your stuff I was like well hold up I was like hold up like Cause it's such a universal theme. Like, I really... want a beach. <laughs> yeah, I was like, <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh my god, because I think that's yeah. There's there's truly a need for this, so I think. Mm-hmm. Uh, so yeah, please don't stop. I know you're tired. Always tired here, but that's we okay. you know take care of yourself so that you can keep going. Thank you. You know, <laughs> building your um, educated chola empire. Yes. You know, I see flower shop in the future. Yes. I feel I see the coffee shop. I would you do know? a coffee shop. Flower shop, maybe later, later on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or you maybe can add I'm like flowers old. to the coffee shop. You yeah, can add that's flowers. True. That's true. Yeah, 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 yeah. It'll just be a piece, it's like a yeah. stand. I love this because I think, you know, life's too short and you truly are taking your life into your own hands. And you're just yeah. like, you're building the life you want to live. Mm-hmm. Period. Yeah, the goal is make this the empire and yeah. then this be my career and 
do presentations yes. or speak trainings, places, all trainings. Kinds of stuff. Yeah, I do want to get some like certifications. Yeah. Um, haven't figured that out. It's on my. But list. it's on the list. It's, it's on, on the list. list. It's on my giant. It's list. on the board. Yeah, it's on it's the whiteboard. List. Yeah, it's on the whiteboard. I need to get a whiteboard. Yeah, well, I know. Me too. I like whiteboards. I know. I'm like, because it helps. Because you can make a list on the whiteboard. Right? Yeah. And then you can like draw cute stuff. Yeah. Right? I try to schedule everything on Google Calendar, but then I'm also trying not to be on my phone. So yeah, that's right. So you're just yeah. like balance this is nice this is nice this has been really nice good i'm glad rosa educated chola up in here yeah right here with us coffee (laughs) cake homegirl cafe yes yes yes. shout out to homegirl cafe here Mm -hmm. in los angeles we got the turkey sandwich which is very good it's called it's called claudia special actually yes Yes. Sorry, Claudia. Thank you. We chose no tomatoes, but yeah. we can do you. <laughs> but you can add tomatoes in yours. Fine. We got the coffee, coffee cake, and some iced, mm-hmm. some iced uh, lattes that we poured yes. in our cup, in, in our cups. mugs, <laughs> in our beautiful mugs. They're I already drank it all. Oh, good. Oh, I have yeah, some, some more over okay. here. Yeah, I have some extra yeah. more. But That's um, fine. so we're rooting for you over here at Lunas and Torto. So just keep going at it. Thank you. We're really excited to see your um, your mission grow. Thank you. And um, thank you for supporting us. Yeah, dude. Love it. I love it. Oh, well. Cheers. Until next time. Cheers. Or opposite side. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm like, oh, love it like that. <laughs>